Hey guys, uh, welcome to this episode of Southbound Fishing. Today I'm going to be talking about some stuff. Um, aluminum molds, that's that's what I'm talking about today. The Probably the most frequently asked question I get emailed or messaged on Facebook or commented in my videos are uh, where do you buy your aluminum molds? And, you know, a lot of hand pourers are like uptight about this. They don't want anyone knowing about any of, any of their stuff. They don't want anyone knowing who where they got their molds from, who sells them any of that stuff. Well, I kind of want to be the difference between that. I n I've never really wanted to keep any information from anyone. Uh, and swim baiting, swim baiting is the same way. A lot of people are uptight about swim baiting. Don't, they don't want to know anywhere how to get the baits, where to go, where to throw it, what techniques, what rigs. They don't want to, they don't want anyone else knowing about that. It's kind of like a, a cult movement. Well, I'm trying to break that stereotype. And uh, so here's some of my molds. Uh, this is the money stick mold right here. Uh, we can go, I'm going to go into a couple configurations of molds, uh, some retailers of molds where you can get them if you're interested, and also the price of them and, and how you get custom molds. So, here's the stick, here's the money stick mold. It's an aluminum mold. It's not cut by me because that's, it's almost impossible. The machines that cut these molds are thousands of thousands of dollars. The software is highly technical. You have to really know, really, really know what you're doing to, to really operate those softwares effectively. So that's why that's why I don't have my own custom molds. You know, back when I was small and I, was, I wasn't selling as many baits as I was now, I could make plaster molds and I would sell those baits. But, you know, I've really stepped it up. I want to get better quality. I want to get more baits per, I know, you know, I can make four baits at one time with this. As you can see, it's very fast. Every bait is the same. I didn't like having to trim baits. I never did from the start. I never liked having to trim a bait because that means that every bait is different. Now, I want every bait to be different. I want every bait to be unique and custom, but not in the way that each bait in the pack fishes or maybe feels a different way than the, than the next bait. That's not what I want. No one wants that. Everyone wants consistency. I want it to be custom, but I want it to be consistent. That's, what, that's the goal. And with hand pouring, it's just it's hard to do that. It is really hard to do that. And you cannot, it's not, it's not precise. Custom molds, look at this. Every bait is exactly the same. It's on a computer. Everything's done on a computer software. So everything is exactly the same. You can't tell if this bait, if a, if a money stick came from this cavity or this cavity. You just can't tell. They're exactly the same. Every time, every pour is exactly the same. So that's, that's one of the biggest advantages. And the other advantage is production. As you can see, four baits in each mold. All you do is pour down a hole, cut it right at the tip, and you're done. Your bait is done. You don't have to trim it. You don't have to wait, you know, wait really long times for it to cool like you do on open pours sometimes. Um, and you're done with it. The bait is done right there. All you do is trim it once. You don't have to, you know, trimming trimming a bait. Say uh, some of my baits, the summer crawl with all those appendages. That sometimes that take takes six or seven minutes to trim. On a pack of five baits, that's 30 minutes. That's 30 minutes of just straight trimming. If I get an order for, you know, 30 packs of that, at, do the math, it takes me a whole day to make those baits, which is why I switched over to aluminum. Now here's the problem. Hand pours, we get stuck. There's, it's almost a timeline. Right as you start, either you're gonna go with aluminum molds, or you're gonna go with plaster molds, or you're gonna go with RTV molds. And I went with, pla or originally I went with plastic molds from Jans Netcraft, but that wasn't, utter mistake on my part. I should have never done that. They blew up. They were not good quality and don't ever buy your, your plastic molds from, from Jans Netcraft because those molds are just not good quality. Uh, so I moved to plaster. Those were great. They lasted me a long time. I made a ton of baits off them. I can make my own custom designs and people love them. But I got to the tipping point and now I'm at that tipping point where it just does not work anymore. The hand pours are way too time consuming. They're not exactly uniform. And uh, and that whole deal. So I could I can't really do the hand pours anymore. If you order hand pours, I'm gonna make them because they're still on the website. But as I said, I'm in the process of converting my baits. As you can see, some baits have disappeared. I no longer sell the stud shad. I now sell the rad shad because it's a similar bait, a little bit more uh, detail, and it's precise, of course. I don't sell the jerk stick. I sell the money stick now. I'm changing my lineup for the better. So. That's that's the reason behind that. Everyone's ragging on me. Some people, not everyone, some people are ragging on me saying that, oh, he just buys his molds off a website. There's no there's no art ship anymore. I wouldn't buy my molds if I didn't have to. I'd cut them myself if I could. 
but I don't have, you know, no, no, no hand pour really has the capital to go buy that machine. I mean, these machines take up rooms. They're very, they're big machines. If you look them up on the internet, you can, you can see them in action. They're loud. It's an industrial product. That's what it is. It's not something you can do in your basement or do in your, in your workshop. It's really an industrial process. And if you talk to the mold makers, they will tell you the same. Now, on to actual mold configurations. As you can see, this is a four count mold. It's vertical pour, which means you can pour from the top. And as I say pour, I mean you can actually hand pour this. This is meant for hand pouring and hand ejecting. So you can hand pour it right down the hole, as you can see. Close it up. You can hand pour right down there. It'll fill up just the same. I do that sometimes. And I also use the hand ejector which is mainly why I'm, how I make most of my baits. And you just press it in and shoot it. That's how the hand ejector works. So that's one, one configuration, vertical pour. The next configuration is a side pour. This is the new summer crawl mold. As you can see, clamps up. You can clamp it up with my bar clamps, or you can use screws. I don't really use the screws, I use the bar clamps. And then it ejects from right there. So there's that. and. Uh, and then also you have the aluminum open pour molds. This is the Demery Crawl mold. I can pour this very precisely because it all has flat edges. As you can see, I can I can really control this bait. Almost most of the time I don't have to trim this bait. I can pour I've gotten to the point where I can pour it without trimming it most of the time. Maybe one or one out of twenty baits or one out of fifteen baits I gotta trim a little bit of on the claws, but most of the time I don't have to trim it. And that just comes from years of hand pouring. Uh, and, and a lot of a lot of practice. I've poured you know, probably close to a, who knows how many baits. So practice makes perfect. Uh, and this this mold, a lot of people find this mold very hard to pour. I mean, it is a hard mold to pour. If you don't control that plastic stream, that's about the that's about the height of a nickel. So pouring out of Pyrex, out of that out of that spout, and it open, it's almost the consistency of I don't know, uh, pancake batter not pancake batter it's the consistency of a liquid it's a liquid so when you pour it in there it's going to want to overflow but you have to control it I do have to trim these sometimes but again there's so little trimming and it's just so quick and easy that this is a bait that I sell this is the voodoo worm mold onto the needle mold as you can see that's a four cavity mold as you can see side inject this baits made by candy creek molds we're gonna now we're gonna get into the manufacturers this is a K-Molds mold, kmolds.com. There's a lot of guys who make molds, a lot of them. Delmart molds. This is Caney Creek. Most of my molds are Caney Creek. I also have a couple of Bass Tackle molds. No, I'm not going to show that one. The date has not been released. Um, bass Tackle mold, of course. As you can see, though, the new, the great thing about the Slim Dog is the thick version, yes, you can go out there, go on BassTackle.com and buy the mold. I'm not trying to hide that. I've never tried to hide that. Um, you can go on BassTackle.com, buy this mold right now, buy your hand injector, buy your plastic glitters, flakes, colors, and be making this exact same bait as I am. That's the straight up truth. But, it costs a ton of money to do that. The hand injector alone is 50 bucks. The molds are, I mean, I don't, I don't even know. These molds can get up to hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Production swim bait molds. If you're trying to make a seven-inch swim bait, and you want to, you want a ten cavity, that thing will easily run you 400 bucks. Even the small molds are, you know, up to 50 bucks. So these old molds are not. If you think that you can go, if if you think that it's economical to go and buy molds and make the same baits as I am, and say that, oh, I'll save money by doing that. It's unless you're going to use hundreds of packs of my baits, it's really not economical because you have to buy the plastic, the flake. Pyrex, you got to set up a workshop, you got to get a microwave, scissors, equipment, all the stuff to make your own baits. And I, you know, I already have it set up here. So some people think that it is much easier to just go and buy the molds and make them. And, and you know, if you want to do that, go for it. I, I support hand pours. I'm, I was, I was there at one stage. I did that so I could escape having to, having to go to Bass Pro Shop and pay, pay top dollar for my baits. But, you know, if you, that's what, that's what I'm trying to convey here. Is I'm not trying. No one. I'm not trying to hide the fact. Some people don't. Some people just don't respond to those emails that people ask where you get your molds from. And I get comments on my videos all the time. I got. I have to delete them almost every day, saying, "Kyle buys his molds here, here, here. Go buy them, guys. He's a scam." You know, I get those comments, and I don't really understand why people would do that. I'm not a scam. I mean, 
it's common knowledge that you can go buy these molds. So I don't really understand why people are, are pulling that card. But uh, but that's the gist of it. That's the gist of aluminum molds. But as, as I was going into about the, the new Slim Dog, that's the fat version, the weedless version. I have one right here in the early morning color. There's the fat version. But the slim version... That's the crawl. The slim version of this is not a readily available mold. You cannot go buy this. This is a custom mold. And and that's... that's You know, so... So that's cool. That's a cool thing of it. I'm getting, I'm getting into those molds. I'm getting into the custom. But the second thing I want to talk about... Who knows what number I'm on, but another thing I want to talk about is the jump. There's a couple of stages when you when you start a hand pouring business. The first stage is you either go with aluminum, you go with RTV, or you go with plaster. And uh, and most people, if you don't go with aluminum, you're going to plaster and RTV, and you're making your own molds or buying them from Warcraft. And and then you get to a stage, and I'm at that stage right now, or I was at that stage a while ago, and where you jump, you make the jump to aluminum if you didn't already. And then you start buying these molds. But here's the problem: you start buying these molds, you're not making them. You're not getting them custom. You could be you can be selling the same bait as someone else on the market. I don't like that. I actually hate that fact. I always wanted to do my own stuff. I don't have a choice. I can't craft my own swim bait, craft my own frog, my own turtle. I can't do that kind of thing. Which it it hurts. I really want to. That's the main that's why I started this business. I have all these ideas. I have notebooks full of ideas and drawings and sketches of baits, but I can't I don't have the medium to do it. I don't have a method to do it. And I'm working on that. I'm working on that right now. But some people do. You know, it costs hundreds of dollars, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And most most hand pourers, if or most mold makers, if you go up to them and ask, "Can you make me a custom mold?" They'll say no. They're just too busy. These things these things don't get cranked out in, in three or four minutes. They take. I don't know how long they take. I don't have a CNC machine. But if you talk to a mold maker, you'll find out. They take time. These blocks are money. The machine time is money. The bits on the cost money. Everything has a price. And as you can see, there are some mid-range companies. There's not a ton, but there are some mid-range companies. I can name a few of them. Power Team Lures. Their baits are not. You can't go buy a mold of a Power Team Lures bait. And that's cool. I support. I love that. I love that about them. They're at that stage where they can get their own custom molds made, and and it's economical for them, and it works for them, and that's awesome. I want to get to that stage. I'm working towards that stage right now. And if I could do it right now, if I could do it the day I started this company, I would have, but I can't. So that's the next stage. I'm working towards it, and uh, and I, here's a custom mold I have. The new Slim Dog Thin Edition is, is a custom mold, and we're working. We are working towards it. So so that's that. Uh, I just I just wanted to unveil the mystery. Everyone's, everyone's all uptight in the business. I don't really like being uptight about anything. I just want... I want, you know, from the day I started this company, I was open. I told everyone where I could go, where you could go, and how you could start hand pouring. I know, I know people personally that will not do that. That will shoo off people that want to hand pour. Tell them, oh, it's too expensive. You don't want to do that. Just buy your baits from me. No, I don't. I don't. I don't agree to that. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good way to conduct a business and conduct yourself in the public world. So, that's my speech on aluminum molds and. Uh, and we're working. We are working, guys. We are making baits every single day for hours a day and shipping them out to all over the country and sometimes all over the world. And I support you guys 100%. I thank you so much for doing this for me. There was, there would be no way I could have done this stuff without you. And I know I say it all the time, but you guys got to understand, if you didn't make those orders and you didn't support my company and support my views, I might have shut down months ago. I see, I see it happen all the time, companies that shut down. You know, it sucks. It really does suck to see that because I know how much work it goes into it. And I support you guys. I thank you so much for doing this for me. And that's the gist of the conversation that I wanted to have with you guys. Um, I hope I filled some questions out. And uh, I hope in the near future that we'll, you will be seeing some custom molds coming from Big Boy Baits. Um, that's the plan. But but there's baby steps has to be taken. And, and buying the molds from from a mold retailer is the baby step that, that we're on right now. So, thank you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. And uh, any questions, please leave a comment. If you like the video, leave a comment. And uh, thanks very much. And check out bigboybaitco.com for all my plastics. Thanks.